Hello there. I'm meteorologist Meg McNamara. We are live with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab. We are here at Camden Yard. So excited for the game tonight. And I know you've been admiring this bucket hat. So this was a giveaway last week. But don't worry. You can look so cool in this T-shirt. This is the giveaway tonight. So we've got... Mullins number 31 going on. Very cool. Of course, though, we want to talk about what you can expect not just tonight, but this weekend for Father's Day, the start of summer. So, before we get, though, to the full forecast, we have your cicada fact of the day. So, I guess it's hard to be too annoyed with them when we consider the fact that they predate uh, human existence here. So, I guess they were here first. We have to give them a little bit of respect for that. And then, of course, for the full forecast, though, I'll send that inside to meteorologist Chelsea Ingram. Hello, Chelsea. All right, Meg, thank you so much. I know a little respect to the cicadas. They are ancient creatures, after all, and it looks like their time is soon coming to an end here in Maryland, at least for now. 86 degrees right now, BWI, Thurgood Marshall Airport. It's 80 degrees currently in Annapolis. Temperatures out west in the 80s, a little bit cooler where we've had a little bit of rain out in Oakland, right around 68 degrees. Down the ocean, right around 77. It's 83 degrees currently in Salisbury. And it is oh so comfortable outside when you're talking about humidity levels. Really, the dew point, which is a better indicator of how comfortable it feels outside, 56 degrees. That's that's where the dew point stands. That puts us in this very comfortable category. But uh, things are going to be creeping this way up here toward uncomfortable as we head into the weekend. Humidity levels will be on the increase, just to let you know. Satellite and radar shows we do have a little convective system located out to our west. We're tracking that. That'll bring us the potential for some showers and storms heading into the overnight hours. I'll illustrate it here for you on Futurecast. Paused at 1 a.m., a couple of showers located to our north and west. That's those are going to be the areas with the best chance for seeing any shower or thunderstorm activity. Then, as we head into Saturday, it's pretty quiet during the first part of the day. But by the afternoon, we're once again going to be tracking the risk for some showers and thunderstorms, and one could be on the stronger side. So, really, that's going to be after about 2 p.m. when we get that peak heating going on. Fast forward to Father's Day. Sunday morning, a couple of sprinkles or a shower around, and we can't hold out uh, the risk for a stray thunderstorm heading into the afternoon. But overall, it does look like Sunday afternoon should trend drier compared to Saturday. So Father's Day should be the better day out of the two. Tonight's forecast a shower or thunderstorm in Baltimore down the ocean, increasing clouds, and then showers and storms possible out in western Maryland. We're looking at a high right around 90 degrees. If you're jumping into the pool tomorrow, looks good the first half of the day, but keep an eye to the sky for that potential for storms heading into the afternoon and evening. A quick check at the tropics. This is likely going to be tropical storm Claudette making land fall near Louisiana as we head into the overnight hours and tomorrow morning. We'll talk about the track of this system, where it ends up as we head into the next several days in the next half hour. First, we'll show you a look, though, at the seven-day forecast, looking at a heat wave as we head into Monday. 88 on Tuesday with thunderstorms around, then looking good by the middle of the week. We'll have the latest on the tropics in the next half hour. Back to you guys.